are going to show how to simulate business critical transactions and user journeys leveraging the new real browser monitoring capability in DX App Synthetic Monitor. DX App Synthetic Monitor is a powerful synthetic monitoring solution which allows you to better understand performance without the dependency of the real user traffic. To get started, I'm already logged in into our DX um, App Synthetic uh, Monitor. And now I click on Monitors and, and I click on New Monitor. And what I can see here is the section of Real Browser Monitors. And I have a couple options. Uh, today we go for Web Driver type of the monitor. So uh, this is uh, where uh, I can uh, actually create the, the monitor uh, itself. So WebDriver executes Selenium scripts um, or Selenium WebDriver commands to replicate the experience of the actual user uh, which uh, the user would have on your site. Scripts can be recorded and uploaded from any online recording tool uh, which Selenium uh, uses. Let's record our script. You can open Selenium recorder of your choice. Uh, my favorite recorder is called uh, Caton. It's a little extension which I do have uh, inside of my browser, in this case, inside of the Chrome browser. And I'm uh, also opening uh, the browser in incognito window. The reason for the incognito window is that uh, in that way, uh, Selenium script uh, or the website will not count with any cookies or any information which uh, could be stored in your browser profile. So I do have my Catalan already opened. And let's start recording uh, the script. I click on record. And now I will go to App Synthetic uh, Monitor website. I go to Tools. I click on Pink. I can type uh, something here. I can click Start. I can go to login. Um, I could log in into the website and so on and so forth. And in this way, you will really uh, create a script. So let's go back uh, into the Catalan and see actually what happened here. Each individual action which I have done uh, is recorded uh, as one command, one Selenium web driver command, and it's um, stored here inside of the uh, Catalan. And what I can do in Catalan, uh, I'll click Stop. And I can play the sequence uh, from the very beginning. So uh, play the scenario which I have recorded. Um, so uh, that's the first part. And now I need to export a script and uh, save it uh, in order to replay that back in ASM. In order to do that, I need to click on the button here, Export. And I need to export this uh, into uh, XML. Uh, and this XML is just a series of WebDriver commands with the additional uh, parameters. So let me switch back, actually, to slightly complicated script, which I uh, recorded uh, before. And let me point out uh, some of the some of the uh, facts here. So uh, first of all, I want to play you uh, the script again so you can actually see what it does. So in this particular script, uh, I click first on um, a certain menu item in a, uh, App Synthetic Monitoring, then I log in, uh, and then uh, I ended up in the another section of App Synthetic Monitoring. Uh, besides the actions themselves, I'm also adding a couple of wait for visible commands here to actually ensure that my script is running without any problems at all times. 
So um, this command actually ensures that my entire HTML page is loaded correctly. So then actually um, I don't get the random errors caused by the fact that the website is not um, uh, it's not fully loaded and the element which I want to type in or click on is not uh, rendered yet. So here I can again click on the export and I can actually uh, save this into my file. So let me click save. Save it here. I can save it as XML. Okay, so once we have our uh, XML file saved, uh, we can actually uh, open it uh, open it here in uh, App Synthetic uh, Monitoring. I can call it test demo, uh, for example. Here I can pick actually whether I want to use Chrome or Firefox uh, as a browsers. These are two uh, browsers which we uh, do uh, support. And I'll just hit save. Sorry, one more thing. I want to increase is the timeout uh, to the maximum, which is uh, 90 seconds, um, because uh, the script might take a little bit of time to execute, and I really want to make sure that my script is executed uh, in that uh, in that given time window. So let's hit save. And now App Synthetic Monitoring is actually testing the monitor, so it's uh, running the script and it's evaluating whether script execution uh, works. So let's give it a couple seconds uh, before um, this is done. And as you can see, uh, this is exactly the reason why I put there a little bit longer timeout because you never know uh, how much time uh, does it take. And here, uh, I can actually see that uh, my script uh, went okay. Uh, you can see uh, how much time uh, did it uh, take uh, in total. Uh, you can see the complete waterfall of the HTML results. You can download HTTP uh, archive to explore the communication between uh, our monitor and um, the tested website. And what I can also do is to actually uh, play the video of the script execution. So as you can see, uh, my script uh, got executed. Uh, let me just actually show you uh, one other thing what you can do uh, with the monitors themselves. So here in the logs, I can see complete results of my test. Um, I can also set up the alerts for my script. So here I can define um, my alert contact. I can have various groups. So in case that my alert is uh, not executing correctly and it's failing, um, I can uh, set up here my contact information so I get contacted. And um, this is really it for uh, the demonstration of our uh, real browser monitoring. So I hope you enjoyed that and see you next time.